Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. I'm excited. I'm having a great day so far. Just gonna uh, go out here, get a couple things done. Try to get try to get the car wash, run some errands. But I'm excited because I'm getting my new running shoes. You know, it's about that time. Uh, I'm getting, I went ahead, I did some research online and I was looking for a light shoe. So I was looking for you know, some feedback regarding that. And according to the reviews I read, I think I found the shoe and I, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm getting it today, sometime today. And I went ahead and decided to get the, the Nike Zoom Turbo 2s. So the ones that I got right now are the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 35s. So the Pegasus 35s is the best running shoe that I've, that I've ever had. Uh, I just like the way it feels it, it's also a light shoe which the turbo twos are even lighter than lighter than the one that i have so i'm excited about that but all in all man i mean the the peg 35s no complaints like i said it's the best running shoe that i've had uh so far and it's just about that time i'm gonna keep you guys posted and let you know let you know what i think when they get in all right so the car wash is closed, y'all. Ain't no cars. Didn't even dawn on me that that the car wash might be closed. But it makes sense, you know, with everything that's going on with social distancing and everything like that. So also on that note, you know, I hope everybody's safe, stay safe out there. But it, you know, it's no big deal, it's no problem. We we'll just go to the uh the self serve car wash. We'll get it done. Yeah, making another stop right now. I'm on my way into Walmart. Hey, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know about the uh, rotisserie chickens they got at Walmart, but I got the lemon pepper in heavy, heavy rotation. If you haven't tried, if you haven't tried it, trust and believe. Fire. Yes, sir. Got to get my snacks. Cocoa. Got them. Got to get my egg whites. I get the tall carton. Gives you 100 grams of protein. And uh, I drink this straight. So if you want to get some extra protein in without messing up your macros, egg whites. We got action. Yeah. It's that lemon pepper right here. You will not be disappointed. Clean source of protein. Uh, sodium's low too. Sodium's pretty good. And I eat a little bit more than a half a chicken a day. So that gives me anywhere between 40 and 50 grams of protein. And I always, always come and, and buy uh, a couple rotisseries at a time. So, Boys and girls, ladies and gents, the time is here. UPS has just left. So that could only mean one thing. My Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2s are here. All right. Oh, these are clean. I like that. Right off the top, I'm already noticing the differences. I went green this time, y'all. My peg 35s are red, so I wanted to do something different with the green. So right off top, the differences that I noticed is, first of all, it's a lot lighter shoe. I think the pay 35s are about 10 ounces. These come in right about eight ounces. So it's a big difference there. Um, also the tongue is different as well. It's a more sleek tongue. Shoelaces are a little bit more sleek that I notice. It looks a little bit more breathable also. Uh, oh, that's kind of, that's dope how they had it inside. So they got the swoosh on one side. So they got the Nike and then they got the zoom. And then on the back of the shoe, I like how they got like the stopwatch right there, which is fly. The back. Oh, okay. Yeah, the back, the back stick sticks out more too. I guess that's for uh striking contact, you know, when the heel hits the ground to be more efficient. I'm guessing. I like this. I'm pleased. For sure. I'm gonna show you guys old faithful. <laughs> Old Faithful right here. The Peg 35s. No complaints at all. Like I said, this is 
the best running shoe that I've ever had. Um, the differences you can see right here off the tongue compared to the uh, Turbo 2s, the Peg 35s, it's more bulky. The shoe itself, without even putting the shoe on, I could tell that the, uh, the Peg 35s are a little bit more bulky, like more boxy. Whereas the Turbo 2s, they seem a little more sleek, kind of like a glove hugging your, uh, you know, wrapped around your foot. I could see that. Like I said, the shoelaces, a uh, small difference there. Big difference with the tongue right off the bat. Um, also the swoosh with the design on the Turbo 2s, it actually goes down into the phone. Whereas with the Peg 35s, the swoosh is a little higher. And like I mentioned too, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but the back end of the shoe on the turbos come out more compared to the uh, the Peg 35s. But I've accomplished a lot with these shoes right here. Uh, I've got, I've reached a ton of PRs, you know, personal records, a lot of a lot of milestones. I was training for my first marathon in these shoes. I was actually working with Safeness to raise money for charity um, out here in Vegas, but I got into a bad car accident a little bit ago, so that kind of derailed that. But hopefully I could get back up with them and organize something in the future. And another difference also with, with this shoe is 500 miles in this shoe actually feels only like 400 miles in the turbos. I like the inside Nike check right there too. That's cool. So that's a hundred mile difference, which, which, you know, which adds up. And with my pay 35s, I've easily put in over a thousand miles on these shoes. So I, I definitely got my money's worth out of these. Uh, the turbos, I spent 180. That's before tax and shipping. The pay 35s, I, I believe I paid about 150, 160 for these. Believe it or not, um, the Pegasus brand has been around since 83. The first shoe came out in 1983 and they were charging $50 back then. So, but just to go to show you, man, 37 years, it's a trusted brand. You know, I'm, I'm part of the family. I'm a, I'm going to continue to, to be a part of the family and the peg 36s. So I got the peg 35s. Uh, they got the 36s, the 37s, um, are a new shoe that's coming out this April. So it's supposed to be state of the art. So I might try that one and go back and forth between the Peg 37s and the Turbo 2s. But of course, you know, I'm going to see how these are. And another difference that I just seen that I just noticed right now is around the ankle, the ankle design. So just like I mentioned, this is more of a boxy design. So you can see it right there in the ankle, whereas this one is just more fitting. It just wraps right around your ankle. You can see it right in there compared to this one. So, like I say, I'm a I'm part of the family. I'm a big fan of the Pegasus brand. It's a trusted brand, and you know they're they're gonna continue to get my business for sure. So, so when it comes to running and performance, durability is key. Weight is key. Comfort is key. So th those are the three main things that I look for for myself. You know, I can't wait to get these on the road, put them to the test. About 100, 200 miles in, I'll come back and give you my review. All right, so you know I had to put them on and at least just walk with them just to see how they feel and not disappointed. They feel better than they look. Real light, which I knew they would be. And like I mentioned, the biggest difference that I feel is the, the snugness. Instead of the, the, the Peg 35s have more of that, that box feel. Whereas the Turbo 2s are, are real snug, real snug on your foot. So real fitting. Another big no, an, another big thing that I noticed too is the, uh, around the ankle is a lot more comfortable as well. Just the whole, the whole design is real sleek and you can really feel it in the shoe. But yeah, also it's got a lot more bounce to it. That's what I noticed as well. Also, the heel strike, the heel strike portion, where it sticks out a little bit more in the back, I noticed that as well. That feels good. And I'm actually real impressed. Not bad though, right? It's clean.
And the best way I could describe it is with the peg 35s, it feels like you're, like you're wearing a shoe, like you're putting on a shoe. Whereas these ones feel like you're putting on a sock. That's the best way I could describe it. Like if, you're, if your socks were shoes, that, that's how it feels. That's just how it just, like a glove just wraps right around your foot. But I'm not disappointed. I just wanted to walk with them real quick. But you know how it is, you know, when you're training, you're training real heavy. You always try to find something new to kind of motivate you the next day when you wake up, get out of bed. And sometimes, you know, like a new year, a new month, you know, a birthday, something as small as shoes can actually do that for you too. A new training shoe. So new training shoe means new goals, new milestones to reach. It's a new day, a new time, a new era. You gotta stay fresh, keep things new, keep from getting bored, keep from getting stale. So, you know, I look forward to, to giving you guys that review in a little bit after I, I put a couple hundred miles on them. So, all right, y'all, stay safe, like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned.